Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Violet Skyber. We're tracking an active day ahead with a chance for some severe thunderstorms. The main threat on these storms is going to be high winds, could even see flooding in flood prone areas due to heavy rainfall under some of these storms. But we can't rule out hail or even possibly a tornado under some of the strongest storms. And if you do want to keep updated with alerts about severe thunderstorm warnings or any activity that's going on around your location, you can download our app WKTV Weather on your phone. Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Violet Skyber. A warm front is going to move through the region, bringing mixed precipitation. And what I mean by that is we could see some sleet, freezing rain, and eventually some plain rain. Now, why this is happening is because there's a temperature inversion. So as the warm air moves into the region, it's going to get shoved aloft above this cold air. And as the rain falls, it freezes before it hits the surface, producing either snow if it's very cold, sleet or freezing rain if there's just a small amount of cold air at the ground close to freezing. And then once the air is all warm above freezing, that's when we see some plain rain. I'll tell you the timing of when we can expect each of these types of precipitation, and that's coming up. Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Violet Skyber, tracking rain showers across the region for this afternoon. A live look from our Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 radar. They're moving in from the south and becoming widespread, but the rain will stay light as we head throughout the afternoon. Here's a wider look at the northeast. We do have a low pressure system that's right over New York City that's bringing this light rain, but not only that, it's also bringing breezy conditions and cooler air working in behind this system. Now let's explain what a low pressure system is and why we're going to get this cold air. So a low pressure system rotates counterclockwise and that's the wind direction. Now ahead of this system, because it's counterclockwise, it draws warm air up from the south and on the back end of this system, it draws cold air down from the north. So as this system heads out, it's going to bring that cooler air in as we head into the weekend. The leaves are beginning to fall, and if you're thinking about raking your yard over the next few days, you might have to wait. Today we're going to be dealing with the rain, and then we eventually dry out as we head towards the second half of Tuesday, but honestly, Wednesday looks like the best day. And I'll have a look at your forecast and what you can expect over the next few days coming up. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm meteorologist Violet Skyber. Let's take a look at the current conditions for lunchtime. Temperature sits at 50 degrees right now, and it's quite windy around 15 miles per hour. And we are also seeing some rain showers across the region. If you are heading out for lunch and you wanted to grab a bite to eat outside, again, today is really not a nice day for it. You might want to keep your lunch inside today. But tomorrow, things change, and it looks a lot nicer. We'll see some sunshine. Highs will reach the mid-50s. And Thursday's the day to get out because the rain eventually returns as we head into Friday. And I'll have a look at your weekend forecast coming up. If you're heading out this afternoon, grab the umbrella and dress warm. It's going to be on the cooler side. Highs only in the lower 50s with breezy conditions making it feel even cooler than that. Then as we head into tonight, the rain finally ends with mostly cloudy skies, a low around 40 degrees. And I'll have a look at the rest of the weekend coming up. 